back with a review for a lesser known horror film that I grew up with, saw it on TV, it made the rounds of early 1970s TV, late night chiller theater and things like that. Not a lot of people talk about it, and that is uh, Blood of the Vampire, 1958. It's a British production by Tempion Films. And Tempion Films uh, was really a, I guess, a t they're really their claim to fame was British TV. They did the Trollenberg Terror, for example, for TV. Uh, but, but back in 1957, of course, you had the success of Hammer's Horror of Dracula, uh, Curse of Frankenstein, and parlaying that success was, or an attempt to parlay that success was the lesser known effort called Blood of the Vampire. Uh, and Tempion got the script writing job for Jimmy Sangster. So the film is mislabeled by a lot of people as a, as a Hammer film, but it's actually not. It just looks so much like a Hammer film Predominantly because I think of Jimmy Sangster and the sets. Uh, it's an interesting. It's an interesting film. Uh, the label. The label of the film, of course, is Blood of the Vampire, but it's not really a vampire film per se. It's it's more of a mad scientist film. Donald Moffat, the claimed English stage and screen uh, actor who was accused of being somewhat hammy, uh, plays. Uh, Dr. Calistratus. And Dr. Calistratus has been resuscitated from the dead after being executed for some obscene experiments. Uh, but he's, he, he's brought back to life through some, basically some, some strange contaminated blood. Some blood that's combating his body. And, and now he has to uh, have some blood transfusions, perpetual blood transfusions in order to stay alive. Uh, he is uh, helped out by his little henchman buddy, his deformed henchman buddy, Carl, who's played by Victor Modern. Uh, and Victor Modern said the, the facial makeup, he, Victor Modern had this huge bulbous eyeball that was hanging down, kind of Quasimodo-like, uh, said that the, 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 the makeup gave him perpetual headaches. Also in this film is Barbara Shelley. Uh, in an early role, and she plays kind of the love interest for uh, Doc Pierre, a guy named Pierre, who has uh, been imprisoned, wrongly imprisoned. He's a doctor as well, and he, unbeknownst to him, he's helping uh, Dr. Calistratus with his experiments until he realizes how devious they are, and he plots to escape. Very gothic, you know, the sets are, it, it really does look and feel like a Hammer production. Uh, and it's, a, it, it's an interesting film. It's, it's plotting, it's a little bit slow, uh, but it's got a great storyline and it's very mature. Uh, it's, you know, it's not a creature feature. It's more of a, it's more of a scientific, uh, adult-oriented storyline that I think, you know, as long as you... Uh, give it the chance that it deserves. It's a it's an interesting film. But even as a young kid, when I saw this, the first entrance of uh, Donald Wolfett when he turns around and he Dr. Calistratus makes his first appearance is very very powerful. You know, I can see why Vincent Doctor. I can see why Donald Wolfett was accused of being a ham actor because he really does chew the scenery. I mean, you can't blame him, but he really is uh, an interesting, interesting horror actor. Although horror was not his main thing. I mean, he did a lot of other things, but horror was uh, the horror. This is one of his few entries into the horror genre. This release from Dark Sky also has a commentary track, and then it has a um, a rather rare film called The Hellfire Club, which also had, which stars Peter Cushing. Uh, so this is an interesting little release, double drive-in release that uh, I can recommend. You can pick it up pretty cheap. But if you're looking for a really smart uh, horror film from the Gothic period in the 50s, British Gothic period, you could do worse from Blood of the Vampire. I highly recommend it.
Uh, so there you go. That is Blood of the Vampire. Thanks for watching.